Hi friends, it's Shilpa here with another project for the Wild Bunch, the YouTube design team for Wild Docket Crafts. And I haven't been really doing um, much crafting lately because I've had a really bad eye infection. So this project that I'm going to share with you guys is um, something that I've just completed after feeling much better with my eye. And this is going to be my last project for the Wild Bunch. So um, it's very sad, I know, but I've had a wonderful time on my journey and I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's been following me along and showing me so much love and support. So thank you so, so much and I hope you carry on um, showing me all that love um, all the time. So thank you so much. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move my sign out of the way and show you guys um, a beautiful, beautiful birthday card that I've done. And here it is, and it is so, so dimensional, so, so pretty, and it is a birthday card. And I know, again, my lighting is really bad. I'm going to put my light on and see if it makes any difference. I think that's a bit better. So this is a tall, I'm going to call it a book card, because it is like a book, and I will show you how I've um, done this. So this card I am actually made um, using some... I'll show you actually. Let me just put something behind this so it can just hold it up while I um, show you what I've done. So what I got my idea from was um, some DL cards. And DL cards in this country, they're just tall and um, slim cards. And they come like this. And um, I've got so many of these. I've got packs and packs of these. And they come like this. And you fold it to get your card. And this is about uh, three and a half inches by eight inches tall. And what I did to create this beautiful card is um, I got three of these DL cards and I just um, stuck them back to back like this, creating some pages. And I stuck three cards together to give me my pages for my birthday book card. And it was really easy. And then I just covered it all using this beautiful paper pack from Prima. And it's the fairy rhymes and I've used about three sheets and I've also got loads of um, paper left over from it so um, this is you're going to have loads left over and never ever throw your um, leftover papers like this because they come in handy with all your card making <clears throat> excuse me so after I stuck the cards together put the papers on I decided to just um, embellish it using some yummy um, laces from my stash as well as the some um, Wild Ocker Craft ones as well as some beautiful flowers here that you can see. So I've embellished mostly the front of the card because I didn't want to make it too bulky and the inside I've just made some pockets which I will show you guys. But um, this card has just turned out so so adorable as you can see I've used one of the Prima um, dolls there and she's my favourite one so I decided to add that there. And I think it's just more than a card really, it's more like a gift for somebody to store their birthday pictures. You can make them for Christmas, which I think I'm going to do um, next. Some Christmas cards, um, any occasion really. And um, one more thing before I go into all the details, there is I have been nominated for um, the um, best craft awards I think it's called and I'll put the link down below with this video and um, so if you do like my card ideas please go ahead and vote for me but I um, thank you so much for all your um, nominations already so that's smashing thank you very very much so what I'll do I'll just go through my card with you so um, it's very shabby chic as you can see and I'll start with the front so what I did on top of the paper and you can't see much of the paper anymore because it's all covered um, but I used the wood green paper on this um, this side of the um, card, the front side and then um, I just layered loads of lace so this is um, one from my stash and this is like a bridal applique lace which Amanda sent me who is I Amandi and I'll put um, all the codes for the Wild Ocker Craft products below as well. So this is a Wild Ocker Craft rosette and I know they have the large rosette in the taupe colour at the moment. I don't think this one's available. I've also used some Wild Ocker Craft large flat back pearl here and there's a doily from my stash. There's a tiny vintage doily behind here. And um, at the bottom here, I'll tell you what I've done with the dress in a moment. Um, at the bottom here, I've just taken some of this um, frayed fabric and I've just gathered it in certain areas and just put some pearls in. And these are some 25mm um, ivory roses and I love this um, size rose for my cards. 
and I've just put two on the front and I've just made a little cluster using some smaller ones as well so these are the 10 millimeter ones in cream so I've gone for a cream and ivory look as well as bits of pink here and there and um, kind of covered her feet and um, just layers and layers of lace on this so for my doll itself um, first I just paper pieced her using some of the paper from the um, collection and then um, I wanted a bit more dimension so I started covering her up using firstly some tool as you can see here just to give some dimension and then um, some light pink lace or some wide lace and on top of the pink lace I've added this Wild Ocker Crafts um, lace and um, I've tea dyed this one this is some antique lace from my stash so I've just used a tiny section here some small flat back pearl from Wild Ocker Crafts in the cream colour and that created my skirt and I've just coloured her hair in and just um, gave her a really nice um, skin tone and um, that is it for the front and here I've just added one of the Anna Griffin um, uh, sentiments and this is like a dimensional sentiment it just says wishing you a happy birthday so it's a birthday card and on the back here I've used this beautiful trim that Trish has sent me who is a little shabby chic thanks Trish and I've been hoarding this for ages it's really nice to work with it's got like a wire edging to it so I've added it around um, the spine and then I've added some white flat back pearl from Wild Hockey Crafts and this tea dyed wide lace from my stash which looks really nice and vintage so that is um, the front and back of the card and then here I've just tied a piece of seam binding and this is Wild Hockey Crafts the rose um, I think it's the rose petal vintage seam binding and I love this colour it's my all time favourite from Wild Hockey Crafts and then on the inside I just made a few pockets for my friend to add her birthday pictures so um, what I did there's some Wild Hockey Craft lace again tea dyed then some um, newspaper, um, a vintage newspaper that Lily sent me. So thanks Lily for that. Lily is Lily Lineker. And I've just made a little pocket using a Prima tag from the doll collection. And what I just trimmed it down to fit into the pocket. And they just look really adorable. And the play back is plain so my friend can add her birthday pictures on there. And then again some more seam binding in two colours on top. The vintage pink the rose petal pink sorry and also some I think it's called ivory or cream I'm not sure or maybe it's the cameo beige sorry that one is and then on this side again a tiny little pocket where you can slide up this the small tag again it's another cutout from one of the tag pages and this is some um, tea dyed eyelet trim and I think this one was sent to me from a uh, by sorry um, Gisella who's lavish laces and some more of the newspaper trim there and then another pocket here using some Wild Ocker Crafts um, lace and this is like the net lace and another tag here on this side some of that um, Wild Ocker Crafts um, goopier lace which I've tea dyed and some pink lace with another tag for my friend's picture and I think this one just got stuck down so it's like this so I hope she stores all her birthday pictures in here this one with again um, some more tea dyed lace and this is like a double double lace thing going on here so she can add um, extra things if she wanted but this tag just slips in there and then this here I've just added some pink tool and a piece of the antique lace from my stash I made a pocket and then I turned this back so I wanted this lace bit showing here and again another tag here and I've also got a message on the back which I can't show you and again the tag's been um, tied with some seam binding on the top and there's the back so really really adorable really really easy to do as well I know it looks a bit complicated but it's not it's really really mega mega easy and um, I think later on maybe I'll do a tutorial on how I actually created this beautiful um, tall book card and it's just so adorable I can't stop looking at it it's really really stunning I just love it you know I do surprise myself sometimes when you know come up with nice little ideas but this one has got to be one of my favorite cards that I've done I think this year so really really gorgeous and I hope you guys give it a go let me know what you think of my card and um, if you can if you want you can go and um, 
vote as well on the best card ideas which would be really nice and I'd really appreciate it but thank you ever so much for all your support all your love and all your comments and I hope to see you again soon with another project um, on my channel but for now thank you very much Wild Docket Crafts, The Wild Bunch, all the girls please follow the girls on The Wild Bunch, it's an amazing team and um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon, bye